Hey folks, welcome back to the Portable Gamer. Welcome back to R Factor 2 and welcome to the Hawk. We're going to do, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. It's not a review. I guess you call it a review. So last week when I was doing, uh, I guess the last whatever of the Endurance Pack DLC, as I was kind of setting that up, I came across this and these are the Enduracer Gentlemen Modders, uh, this is their endurance pack, their endurance pack. It's in the Steam Workshop if you look under uh, Endure Racers, so E-N-D-U-R-A-C-E-R-S, Endure Racer, like endurance, and uh, whatever. But if you look in there, you'll find it, and they've got two packages. One is some LMP2, LMP3 cars, and the other is some GTE cars. Those are in the same one. I think that's their big, like... Oh, I think it's the RF1 Endurance Pack. I don't know. Whatever. You'll find it in there. And then the the other is their Flat 6, which is the 911 RSR. You can't... If it's not licensed, you can't call it a Porsche. You have to call it a Flat 6 or whatever. But I came across these, and I, I didn't really... I was into the Endurance Pack. I mean, that's what the video was for. So I didn't really spend a lot of time in these. But I have since then. I've spent a lot of time... And it's, there's an amazing variety of cars. There's a lot of different configurations. There's straight Le Mans. There's uh, ALMS, GTE. It, there's a ton of different setups. And I mean, there's setups for, like, for the prototypes. There's different setups. And then for the GTE cars, there's different setups. And then there's a ton of different liveries, too. So it's you can really kind of paw through there and find exactly what you want to drive. We're in the Legere with the Datsun motor, LMP2, and you can run the same car with a Judd. You can run it with like different uh, aerodynamic configurations for different series. You can run it um, with different liveries, and then it's the same for every car. We'll take a look on the way out because there's a ton of them, but I'm digging it. They're good looking cars. Uh, we can hop in car if you want. Yep, they're good looking interiors. Uh, is there one more? Yeah. Good looking interiors. Uh, I'm definitely pleased with that. I know some mod makers, it seems like they focus on one aspect of their car, like it'll be all about the physics, but the textures won't be so great, or the textures will be amazing, and maybe the interior won't be so good. And this seems like it's a nice balance, and everything is really, really well done. So I'm, I'm digging it. And then the track that we're on is... It's also in the Steam Workshop. It looks fairly new, and it's the Hockenheim Ring. It's the 2002 setup, uh, or the the way they redid it in 2002 when they took out all the forest sections. So it's the new configuration, and there, then there are multiple loops in there. There's um, the German Touring Car Circuit, which is the one we're on now, closest thing I could find to a GT circuit. And there is the National Circuit, and then there's like short A and short B, I want to say. Looks like we're getting into a little bit of action here, so let's go back to TV coverage. Uh, short A and short B, but it, it's a well-put-together track. I'm pleased with it so far. Uh, it's a it's a whole different configuration than I'm used to. I'm used to the, the pre-2002, the old, big Hockenheim ring out through the woods, but, of course, they don't do that no more. And... It seems in particular like prototype cars struggle with this track. I found that in the notes on on the page for the mod in the Steam Workshop. One of the first comments is, hey man, uh, prototypes seem to struggle, particularly in turn one. And it took a few tries before everybody got through turn one clean. Because I only did a four lap race. So, you know, if, if there's a big snarl in turn one and you're under caution for three laps in a four lap race, that's not much of a race. So, yeah. AI seems to uh, struggle with this track, but to be fair, they haven't run a lot of laps, and I'm finding, man, I don't know if that's just an internet rumor or what. I found some threads where it seems pretty comprehensive, and basically what it says is, the more laps you let your AI run on a track, the better they'll get. So, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the cars are great, and I haven't spent a lot of time, ugh, a little, I just dive bombed myself right there. Hang on, let's... Uh, Let's back up. Let's back up. Let's let's review the tape. 
Let's see what exactly I did here. I mean, I guess that's... Yeah, I, I dive-bombed myself. Well played, sir. Well played. So, I haven't spent any time really in the GTE cars, but if they are as good as the prototype cars, then definitely a winner. So, yeah, check those gangsters out in the in the workshop. And I'm really pleased with this game. I, I have come across it fairly recently. It's been about two months, three months since I found R Factor, and I found it via iRacing and... Uh, it's the whole that whole deal. You know how that whole deal works. Anyway, loving the mod support graphics. Eh, you know they're not they're not the best I've ever seen, but the game more than makes up for it in physics, gameplay, the tires, the heat. I mean, all of it. The physics in this game is is uh, just tip top. The actual racing itself. So I can live with some, you know. And they're not terrible graphics. They're just not as not as tight as some other sim racing apps, sim racing games, whatever you want to call them. This guy, man, he just wants it around the outside. I do like the AI. I have the aggression and the AI cranked up a little bit. So, yeah, we did four laps. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like I was making some progress, making some headway. And... Uh, I'll probably do this race. It's Friday. I got the weekend to myself. So I'll probably do this race tonight and do like, I don't know, 60 laps maybe. And let the strategy come into play a little bit more. Yeah, he wants it on the outside. You you can't have... Oh, oh. And on the inside too. Um, what else? Oh, these cars are also... Uh, I'm, you know I'm playing with the the damage cranked up. Realistic damage, and as in real life, the prototypes are extremely fragile. They are, I would say they're almost as fragile as an F1 car. So you really don't touch anybody ever. Uh, take a little bit of damage, it throws off the downforce, and then you're just into that that vicious cycle. You know, lose downforce, now you got understeer. You're going to go wide, you're going to dive bomb, even if you don't mean to. Uh, when you get the inside line, you're going to slide out, make more contact, and then it just all goes to pieces. So, yeah, be extremely careful with these cars. You know that. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Just thinking out loud. So, yeah, man. That's all we got, and I think we're coming through. Yep, here's the start finish. It's the end of the race. We'll call it good. Folks, thanks for stopping back to check out the Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of R Factor 2, and this is the Endure Racer RF. 2 RF1. Ah, just go to Steam Workshop, type in Endure Racers, you'll find it. We'll see you next time. Take care now.